Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the 61st Mayor of Atlanta, the Honorable Andre Dickens, the Atlanta General Manager, Balram Behadori, and the entire airport team, thank you for joining us for this press conference to kick off what is surely going to be a very busy travel period. While it is our custom to host a holiday travel news conference each year, we are excited to be hosting it here today. Today is the grand opening of our new T-Point vertical circulation, which features new escalators and new elevators. This is a predominant area of the airport that receives heavy traffic daily. The addition of this $60 million project will increase the airport efficiency and position us for future growth. Speaking of heavy traffic, beginning today through the end of the year is amongst the busiest times at the airport. Please know that we stand ever ready to serve our guests here at the world's busiest and most efficient airport. We always appreciate our partnership with the TSA and Customs and Border Protection as together we assist hundreds of thousands of passengers through our security checkpoints. A projected 3.6 million passengers are expected to travel through ATL over the Thanksgiving holiday period running today, November the 17th through Tuesday, November the 28th. The busiest days will be today with 348,914 passengers and this Sunday and next Sunday, November 19th and 27th, when everyone is heading out or returning home, we are anticipating 324,476 passengers and 330,910 passengers respectively on those days. Thanks to the collaborative work efforts between Hartsville Jackson and our many stakeholders, including our federal and airline partners, we can facilitate large numbers of travelers. It truly takes a team of one to ensure that your travel is safe and efficient. As you probably noticed, Hartsville Jackson is undergoing a massive renovation and expansion as part of our multi-billion dollar renovation capital improvement program, ATL Next, that is helping build capacity for future growth. We are anticipating minimal construction impacts during this period as most contractors will not be working next Wednesday night, November 22nd through Saturday night, November the 25th. Work will resume on that Sunday night for selected projects and will continue in earnest on Monday, November the 27th. Just as a reminder that we closed our South Economy lot in October in preparation for construction of the South Parking Deck Phase 1. The renewal of North and South Parking Decks is now complete and all spaces are available. On a normal day getting through security, at Hearts and Jackson, Atlanta International Airport averages only 20 to 30 minutes, especially if you are traveling during midday. However, during peak holiday travel times, long lines at the main domestic security checkpoint are very possible. Therefore, we strongly recommend that travels arrive at least two and a half hours to three hours for domestic travel and three hours in advance for international flights. We also advise passengers to regularly check our website, atl.com, for updates on parking, TSA wait times, and our concession offerings. ATL has an incredible array of dining and shopping options for you while you wait for your flights. If you're not traveling but plan to pick up family or friends at ATL, take advantage of our cell phone waiting lot or on airport parking facilities, which are free for the first 30 minutes. Wait there until they are ready at the terminal for pickup or avoid the arrival curbside and have them come to you. Just park at the ATL West Deck and direct your party to take our SkyTrain. While you are here, be vigilant. Please call 911 calls at the airport. Go directly to the airport information center, which allows us to respond quickly to any incidents at the airport. Please know that we are here at Atlanta. We are doing our best to be prepared for the upcoming holiday periods. For Atlanta travelers, planning and patience will go a long way. Thank you. Thank you, Candace. Uh, and the facts and figures and the numbers that we have for the projections and the time and all of the other information will be sent out at a press release later on today. So you'll have all of those numbers as well. 
Candace made mention of all of our partners and stakeholders that we depend upon and we that collaborate with every single day. One of those is about to hear, we'll hear from next. Joe Miller is the Vice President for Operations here at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport for Delta Airlines. Mr. Joe Miller, thanks. Thank you, Andy, and thank you for the opportunity to talk about Delta's preparedness for the holiday season. Delta is ready to accept all the customers coming through during this busy Thanksgiving time period. In fact, we're expecting 1.3 million customers to come through over the next several days. That's a 6% increase over where we were last year. We've seen significant operational improvements. We've hired over 2,100 employees and are very prepared for the holiday season. Just in on-time performance since the summer, we've improved by 20 points. And we're proud to say we've cut our mishandled baggage rate down by half. In addition, we're bringing in 300 seasonals who are gonna help with wheelchair assist, unaccompanied minors, and help in the lobbies. Going into the season, there's a couple things that I want to be sure that all of our customers know. Number one, let's use the Delta app. It's got weather, gate information, and, 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 and wayfinding. Number two, sign up for a SkyMiles account so you get free Wi-Fi as you travel on to your destination. And the third thing is come early. We want to be sure that all of our customers have time to go from the parking lot to the aircraft seat. We recommend three hours. Atlanta has all kind of fantastic improvements coming. We want to be sure you're not pressed for time. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you on a Delta flight over the next coming weeks. Thank you very much, Joe. And of course, one of the other issues as well, people constantly talk about the wait times here and how we're doing our best to expedite our passengers through. Our most important partner in this, of course, is the Transportation Security Administration and the FSD for Atlanta and Georgia, Mr. Robert Spindon. Robert? Good morning. So far in 2023, TSA officers in Atlanta have screened almost 23.5 million passengers. That is up 2.8 million from the same time period last year and up nearly 1 million passengers from the same time period in 2019. Eight out of the top 10 busiest days ever for TSA in Atlanta have been in 2023. For this Thanksgiving holiday time period, we are anticipating to screen just under 1.1 million travelers. In previous years, our Thanksgiving holiday planning encompasses a time period of about seven days. This year, our holiday planning covers a period of 15 days from November 16th to November 30th. We expect the overall busiest days to be today, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and then the Sunday after. However, there are many peak periods that checkpoints will be busy outside of those three days. We have partnered with our airport and airline stakeholders on an operational plan to accommodate the heavy passenger volume that we are expecting. We will have extra officers on duty to open additional screening lanes and, secu and security checkpoints will be open as early as 3 a.m. on busy days. We will do our best to screen standard passengers in under 30 minutes and passengers enrolled in TSA PreCheck in under 10 minutes. There might be occasions where wait times may be longer, so we encourage passengers to arrive early pack your patients, and reach out to us on social media or text us before arriving to the airport if you have any questions about our security procedures. Our number is simple, ask TSA. Travelers can help speed up the line by double checking those carry-on bags for items that might be prohibited. The number one item we find in carry-on bags is prohibited oversized liquids. Unfortunately, we find a lot of firearms and carry-on bags as well. Here's a photo of a gun that we found in a passenger's bag just this morning. It was loaded with 16 rounds of ammunition. The reason the passenger gave us, they forgot. 
Now this passenger will face a civil penalty of nearly $15,000, loss of TSA pre-check privileges for up to five years, and was subjected to enhanced screening. That firearm this morning was the 381st of the calendar year that we have intercepted at security checkpoints here in Atlanta. About one in 55,000 passengers at this airport is found to have a firearm in their carry-on bag. With a holiday projection of about 1.1 million, that means we can expect to find about 20 guns. If you need to travel with your firearm, it cannot be in your carry-on bag. It must be in your check bag. And there are specific procedures that you will need to follow, which can be found at www.tsa.gov. If you're a gun owner and you're planning to travel, set a reminder right now on your cell phone for the day of your flight to safely store your firearm somewhere other than your carry-on bag. Thank you. Talking about the efficiency of the TSA, that picture was taken this morning and then matted and framed in time for this press conference as well. And finally, as I mentioned just a moment ago, people will be traveling by ways other than the airways. Eric Townsend, AAA, is going to join us right now to talk about projections for the entire state and region for those who will not be flying the skies here. Good morning. It goes without saying that travel is back. Uh, AAA projects uh, about 2 million Georgians are going to be hitting the road, traveling 50 miles or more away from home this holiday. But majority, about 1.5 million, are going to be getting in their cars, packing it up, getting the kids in there, and driving to their destination. This is the second highest projected number of travelers uh, post-pandemic since 2019. So a lot of people are deciding to go visit grandma, family, and friends, but they're going to take their car with them as well. Uh, some of the reasons why that's the case is gas prices. Uh, gas prices are certainly trending downward. Right now in uh, Georgia, we're about 284 a gallon for regular unleaded. We were paying over three dollars a gallon this time last year. So that's good news. Gas prices are certainly trending downward. The other thing uh, that we want to keep in mind, those that are going to be traveling as far as when people are going to be getting on the road. Most people are probably going to be heading to their destination on Wednesday so that they can arrive in enough time for the holiday and then returning on Sunday, some perhaps staying over on Monday. So you can project that within that period of time, there's going to be a lot of people on the road. What can you do? You can leave earlier, perhaps, if your circumstances allow. Uh, we think that travel is going to be lighter in the morning before 10 a.m. and then lighter in the late uh, evening uh, after 6 p.m. So that's one thing that ones can do. What can you do to get to your destination safely? Focus on the tasks of driving. Remove distractions. So many times we're focused on getting to our destination and we're excited about it. We lose uh, touch of what's most important and that's getting to our destination safely. The other thing, make sure that you wear your seatbelt. Nothing uh, can uh, really destroy a trip more than a crash in which uh, there's uh, injuries or perhaps even fatalities. Uh, and then also allow yourself enough time. One of the other speakers mentioned pack your patience. It's the same thing with driving. So just make sure you leave a little bit earlier, take your time, plan out, plan out your course. All in all, whether you're flying or whether you're driving, we want everyone to get to their destination safely and enjoy their holiday. Thank you. Thank you very much. And before we break away for our individual one-on-ones, I wanted to call out Turner Ujama. They are the construction team responsible for the $68 million project behind me. It was a two-year project, which, as we mentioned earlier, is going to increase efficiency. For those of you who have traveled here, you recognize that just the limited number of escalators and only one elevator does tend to tie things up. This is going to improve things here in one of the most important traffic pinch points in the airport. As you can see right now, one of the busiest days of the year, it is very, very smooth.